carnivorous plants' colors, shapes, and feeding habits are mesmerizing. One problem of growing them in your home is that some carnivorous plants go dormant, and many grow in full sun or in bright light. First, we will explore plants that do fine placed on a sunny windowsill. Here is a short list of plants that do well in most homes: tropical sundews, including Drosera capensis and Drosera spatulata, are frequently available and make. Good house plants. These can grow in a range of household temperatures, and while slightly tolerant of lighting conditions, would do best on the sunniest windowsill available. They require a lot of sunlight to produce their glue. Provide at least four or more hours of bright direct sun. Remember. The amount of sun depends on several factors, including your hemisphere, the season, and external objects like trees and tall fences. Sit their pots and saucers and keep the soil moist to wet. Do not let them dry out. All carnivorous plants require pure water, like distilled reverse osmosis or rainwater. If you have a water test, the mineral content should be 50 parts per million or less. Carnivorous plants get their energy from the sun. Insects are their fertilizers. Indoor sundews eat tiny flying insects like fruit flies and fungus gnats, as well as sugar ants. They will catch their own food. If you want, you can catch a rogue insect and place it on their leaves. But feeding them is not necessary. If your sundew outgrows its pot, you can repot them at any time of the year. Many Mexican pinguicula are also good candidates for windowsills. They would also do best with a brightly lit window. Visit our website for a thorough growing guide, as some change their needs based on the season. Many nepenthe species and hybrids also make adequate house plants. Growers divide nepenthes into two groups. Lowland nepenthes are found closer to sea level. And do best with warm days and nights. Highland nepenthes are found at higher elevations, like the top of a mountain, and grow best with drops in temperature at night. Intermediate nepenthes, whether naturally occurring or man-made, are more flexible in their growing habits. Nepenthes that are expensive generally require specific conditions. Inexpensive ones are common and make better candidates for indoor plants. Provide bright and direct light. Keep their soil moist, but do not soak them in water for long periods. If they outgrow their pots, you can repot them, regardless of the season. Nepenthes, like all plants, are adaptable. Would a nepenthes in a kitchen or living room like more humidity? Probably, but they can adjust and grow into fine specimens. Bright light and clean water are the growing conditions to focus on. If you want to grow your plants in a dark man cave or she shed, additional lighting would be needed. For a few plants, use a desk lamp with a grow light. If you have a plant-eating cat, a terrarium might be a good idea. Terrariums with plants in a substrate are difficult to maintain. They are also unnecessary. If you want to protect your plants from pets, you can grow them in a leaky structure like this, or you can grow them on a sturdy wire shelving with grow lights and keep the door closed. Visit our website to read an entire article on LED plant lighting. Growing carnivorous plants indoors is a great way to bring a piece of nature inside. Studies have even proven that house plants improve concentration and productivity, reduce stress levels, and boost your mood. The International Carnivorous Plant Society wants you to be successful with your plants. We welcome growers just getting started, all the way through professional scientists. We started an annual World Carnivorous Plant Day to celebrate these spectacular plants. Take a look around our website, and you'll find historic documents about carnivorous plants, growing guides, free educational resources, and more. Have questions? Ask. We don't bite. But our plants do.